What's up guys, Jared back and I got a cool app to show you. Uh, it's called Advanced Signal Status. Now, the point of this application is to give you more in-depth and real information based on your signal status than just relying on the bars in your status bar there. Um, why would you want to do that? Well, you know, like me, say as you can see, I'm getting an LTE signal, but it's obviously a really weak signal. So I kind of want to figure out what's causing that. Is it something in my house? Is it because the tower is too far away? Um, so this will help you determine where the dead spots are and so on and so forth with a bunch of other uh, other really, really important information. Now what's cool is that we've got this additional info button. This is actually a sub menu that's generally hidden from the majority of users. And in order to access this menu, normally you would have to go into the dial pad and type in a bunch of digits and then of course this uh, menu would pop up. Um, but what's really cool is this phone information button. Now I'm gonna go ahead and press it but cover the top half just for a moment because it is showing some important information that I don't want you guys seeing. So I'm just gonna scroll down a little bit here until we get to about here and you'll notice in this menu this actually gives us different toggles to different networks so if I want to I could go um, 2G or 3G only um, I think EVDO is 2G if I remember correctly um, and of course you can switch all these different networks or even if you want to keep it to LTE on at all uh, only at all times right so different um, data toggles there, which is really cool. And of course, you've got some different information, battery information, usage statistics, and Wi-Fi information. None of that I'm really uh, too concerned with. Um, jumping into the settings menu here, uh, you've got some limited uh, settings in here, which is great. So you can choose the different types of signal types that you want um, to read it out with. But um, getting back to all these different signals and what they mean, it's cool because if you go to the application page on the Play Store and go to the description, of course I'll be linking uh, the app in the description below the video here. Um, there'll be a link to the roots to this roots wiki thread here, and if you go to it, this is the actual page here, and this actually gives you. And by the way, scroll down halfway. That's is where to avoid all this other confusing shit up here. But um, halfway down the page, you'll find uh, the definitions of what all of those mean. So RSRP, I picked out the ones that were sort of more important to me. I start to get confused um, <laughs> with reading a lot of this stuff, but uh, you'll notice actually down here it says anything below, this is for RSRP, anything below 80 decibels is considered pretty good and you're pretty close to a tower. 80 to 90 is average, what you would expect most of the time, and 90 or above means you're probably um, in the ex extended network area, which means uh, I'm probably going to be, or I'm most likely to be tossed off to an HSPA plus tower. And you'll notice here for my RSRP signal, whoop, put that in frame there, um, I'm actually at uh, negative 112 decibels or 11%. He has put it in percentages to keep things uh, real simple for us uh, noobs out there when it comes to these things. Um, anyway, so I've got a really, really crappy LTE connection here, and so it's very likely that I'll be tossed off to an HSPA Plus uh, tower pretty soon. Uh, come back to here again, and we'll just scroll down a little bit more to another one that was kind of important to me, which is, where did you go? There it is, um, the SNR, signal to noise ratio. So the higher your SNR, the more throughput slash better download and upload speed. So that's the SNR, and if we look here, I've got an SNR of 30 decibels or 46%. Now, if we were to take that information, and generally speaking, I know when I've been downtown and I have full LTE coverage, at least based on the status, um, I can pull down speed of about 25 to 30 megabits per second. So based on the information, and, about, uh, and it said I'm at 46% right now, we go to speed test, we start this up. This should give us um, a pretty close, maybe around 15 megabits per second or something like that. Um, we're just below it, and as you can see here, we're acquiring about 10, 10 megabits per second uh, download speed. So uh, it's more or less accurate, but that's not the only thing that's a contributing factor because there are other things um, that are contributing to the speed, such as you know uh, other cell noise that's in the area and so on. Um, and then from what I understand, I think the RSSI, the higher the decibel, um, basically the more battery power you're using to acquire or uh, maintain that signal. So if I was downtown, I'd probably be using considerably less um, battery power to maintain my LTE signal. Uh, anyways, guys, it's a really neat um, application, especially for those of you that are stickler, sticklers for your um, signal, signal strength. Uh, if you like this video, click that likes button down below. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos in the future. As always, I'll have a link to this application, which is free to the Play Store down below this video. And um, that's it for now, though, guys. Thanks, as always, for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.